Hey, what's up people and welcome to my channel Aqua Thunder. My name is Nicole Marion and this is a review about the Revive from Two Little Fishes. Uh, it's a, what it is actually, it's a coral dipper. It's to clean the, the parasite, the hitchhiker and stuff like that to just knock it off or just kill them. So you don't have any uh, each hacker in your aquarium. So after we say that, usually the YouTuber gonna say, hey, if you're new here, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should, because I talk about aquarium and stuff like that. And you should put a like on this video and hit that notification bell. Uh, but since I'm not this kind of YouTuber, uh, just do whatever you want. Uh, I don't care, I just want to make a video. So I'm using reverse psychology. Uh, because last time I did a video and I said to people, don't subscribe to my channel. Uh, it was the video where I got the most subscribed. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So enough of a chit chat. Um, this is a deep coral that I've used for the last uh, two years. Um, by the way, this is not sponsored in any way. And I think it's my eighth uh, bottle. And just before I do this little section, I had to go to video YouTube to see how you pronounce eight. And uh, because I'm French Canadian, and uh, yeah, you have to pronounce with your tongue. Play. Anyways, I bought like a lot of bottles of these, and I'm very satisfied. So I decided, you know what, let's do a review because there's no really any review on the internet on the YouTube. So I decided, you know what, let's make it one. And if you're a beginner, uh, this video will definitely help you how to dip your coal. There's a lot of people that use uh, this product. I think it's like uh, the the second best seller um, on Coral Deeper. So and I'm just like, why there's no review? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I've used it. I've used it. Blah, blah, blah. I've used it, and it's really uh, really good. And if you open it, you're gonna smell it. It smells like a, a lot of people that say like it smells like pine salt. Pine salt. Um, there's a reason for that. Uh, just like I say, with pine salt stuff like that. If you just look back on the the bottle it say it contains citrus limon and oleum abietis i hope that i pronounced that correctly with a concentration of 0.5 percent by element and the cool thing i really like with the two little fishes uh, is well they put their ingredients just be uh, beneath the the bottle uh, and i really really appreciate that when the the brand or the company uh, just say what contain like there's no secret here what it is uh, like you can do some research if you want and stuff like that so i really really appreciate when the, there's a brand like just they are super open and they say what it contains so big thank you for that i really appreciate contrary like uh, some other uh competitor that like try to hide the what it contains so about those two mixed oil uh, ingredient that's inside of the bottle uh, one of them is the oleum abietis is actually a nice track of type of pine uh, it's the siberian fir which I think is, um, we can find it like in Russia and a little bit everywhere. It's Siberian, you can tell by the name. And it's a, it's a oil uh, distilled by the fresh leaf of Abies Siberica. Uh, so the more you know. And, and the other ingredient is the citrus lemon. And the citrus lemon is not actually the juice, but I think, I'm not quite sure, I can't be wrong, but I think it's like the, by the, the peel of the lemon. This. Uh, for hemp is not a citrus lemon uh, and the reason why it's because it's freaking cold outside uh, as you can see and I'm not going outside to just buy a lemon to make this video so uh, you're gonna deal with that range uh, it's basically like essential oil that you can buy from like a pharmacy and stuff like that and they, they mix it uh, together and it will have a, a strong effect uh, both uh, together all right so this is my setup to uh, dip uh, the coral so just to give you a perspective, uh, just that is one liter. So for one liter, you use just one cup of these. It's just like so. So this represents uh, the amount of uh, uh oh, the amount of liquid that you need to put inside of it that is recommended. But honestly, you can put uh, maybe less, maybe more. Uh, it depends on each coral, so, but just to give you a like, perspective of, of what you need to uh, to add. All right, so now I'm going to put uh, some uh, coral that I have in my hand. It's a mushroom with, I think there is a one, I'm not quite sure. You're gonna see the effect of uh, the, the dipping. All right, so you can see they're starting to uh, 
to move way quickly, quick, quicker than than before. It's crazy, uh, and I'm going to put just a little bit more, just in front of them. So you can see the the Revive Coal Cleaner seem to uh, pretty to be pretty much like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at my screen at the same time as you're looking, and I like how it's effective. I'm going to swell the the water with my finger, and I love to use a two finger. Sorry, I just said something I shouldn't. But you can already see the, all the platform dying. So it, that product, you can see it's working pretty well. And I think those things over here, they're like a tube worm that are infesting my, my aquarium. So you can see this, just this one. I like that. Struggling. So this is why you should dip cool is to remove all this kind of like parasite so you can see just after maybe like five minutes um, there's all kind of parasite the flat one seem to be uh, dying if I'm care can focus so there's so much flat worm in such small frag piece of mushroom it's crazy so um, it's effective it work as you can see so if you wonder like, if it killed the, the flat farm, well, you have your answer just here. I'm, I don't know if like I'm enjoying this or not, but they are so invasive. The, the revive is not only for dipping the coal uh, and to remove the, the itch hacker and stuff like that. It's because you can also use for like infection. What if you have like a coal that's like have an infection or like open tissue? Um, it's a good product to use. It's basically like if you, I do like a comparison. Um, if you have like a, a, a scratch on, on your arm and beautiful hair arm like this, so you can use like hydrogen peroxide. It will just like accelerate the, the, the growth, the recovery, the healing, the cure, whatever you call it. Um, so you can use this for that also. Uh, another application you can maybe with the coals. Uh, if you have like um, a fungus on your corals, uh, this uh, could help. I never had any fungus yet, so but apparently uh, it's supposed to uh, to remove the the fungus for that. So um, yeah, it does a, a lot of things honestly. So like every time like you, you maybe like frag uh, um, a piece of uh, of corals, uh, you could you should actually uh, dip it in the the revive, and it will just help the the coral to just. Uh, Kill and recover from that so there's a little debate on how much you should dose uh, this product um, and it honestly it depends on their corals so basically if you have like a zoanted uh, a room mushroom and stuff like that with like a big thick uh, tissue they, they tend to be more um, resistant or more like so they tolerate like a bigger dosing from uh, from this so you can dose like maybe twice or maybe three times uh, the, the dose uh, for this but if you have like something like like burnness or like acropora, uh, you notice like the, the tissue of this is really really slim, so they're really more sensitive to that. So if you're about to dip those coral, uh, make sure like to follow the instruction that are, are behind the, the bottle. Other than that, honestly, uh, it's pretty much like uh, on observation. Uh, if you have like a lot of hitchhiker uh, parasite, and uh, you have like a coral that can resist a little bit more just put like a little bit more sometimes honestly like i just uh, just don't you let it you can like measure like this to to measure the how much uh, of uh, liquid you put but honestly sometimes i like honest, i'll just dip like that approximately uh, there's not like a real uh, secret like a recipe so this is basically like an observation from you from your point of view to see if you should put, uh, use more of this or not
one last thing I, I just want to mention, uh, this product is not like, a, it doesn't stay forever in the, the shelf. So it has like an expression that you, that you can see just a, on the bottom of the, the bottle. And I think it's because of the citrus lemon, uh, or maybe it's both, honestly, I'm not sure. But I know that when you use, like leave the citrus lemon or juice lemon, whatever, uh, in your fridge or somewhere, uh, the, the chemical aggression will, will change over time. So I think it's because of that. So make sure like you just take a, a watch on the, the expiration date to, to make sure that you use the product correctly. It also like remove the, the Bristol Worm and uh, what else, uh, the Copo Pad. Um, it, it kill or knock off um, a lot of stuff. And something that people don't uh, don't know is that uh, you can, if you have like an anemone, like rainbow bubble tip anemone or whatever, uh, you can actually use that. There's no problem. And it's absolutely like retained just behind the bottle. So there's a little myth on the internet for some reason that you cannot use uh, the revive for anemone. Uh, it's false. You can use it. There's absolutely no problem at all uh, for this. Let me give uh, some tips for how to use the revive correctly, uh, and hopefully that you're gonna learn something. So tip number one, just mix it because the, it can uh, segregate, segregate, segregate. Also, some other tip: when you're uh, dipping your coal and you have maybe like you're fragging. Make sure that you use the, the water from your aquarium and not like a, a fresh water bucket mix uh, because the parameter can, can shift a little bit. So, and you don't want like to stress the, the coals. So make sure that you use the, the water from your aquarium directly. And the other tip is that when you have like the, the coal inside of the, the, the bowl or whatever you, you put in, uh, stuff like this. Sometimes I use, I use like a white a ball like that that I, that I bought at EKA so I can it's like it's super white so every time like there's dead stuff uh, you can see it like right away so can I use all for that or sometime what I do uh, I use like a transparent uh, ball and the tip is is when you, it's inside of the, the ball uh, make sure like you mix it with your 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 hand actually you know what like they I think in, in behind they, they said like uh, you should use like maybe like a air bubble like a spread honestly i'm not like a super huge fan of this uh, i just use my bare hand on my with my finger and i just uh, mix uh, you can mix it with the uh, one finger but uh, honestly uh, two finger is better uh, if you know what i mean uh, i'm going to cut that fuck it so mix it with your two uh, fingers um, gently damn um, and uh, you should be fine, so it will affect the, the, the stuff that is inside. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you like this uh, video, just hit that like button. Uh, if uh, life gives you a lemon, uh, hit that dislike button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I'm gonna show you one that's it. So you see that orange? It goes one hand to another, and I can just make it disappear like with one simple step look at that no more arrange in my hand so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, i will see you in the next one bye bye